All right, and welcome back to the Jamie Ross Show. I'm joined in studio with Mayfield resident Duncan Rogers. Hey, Jamie. Welcome to the set. Thank you. And we're here to discuss a play he's directing in Morristown at the Bickford Theater called Murder in Green Meadows. That's it. And it just opened this, this past weekend. weekend. Yep. And uh, tell us a little bit about the play. Well, <clears throat> it's hard to tell you too much about it because it's a, it's a thriller mystery, but it's... Right. Um, it's a thriller set in a small suburban community outside of Chicago called Green Meadows. Okay. It's a story of um, two couples who become very good friends very quickly, and uh, two of the four of them become a little too friendly. There's mm -hmm. a little infidelity, which leads to a little homicide. It's all very simple. And, and, okay. Uh, yeah. it's, uh, I don't want to give too much more away because who it is and why it happens the why you know but mm -hmm. who it's going to be and how it happens and when and if if he or she will get away with it that's the fun of it huh and does she <laughs> or he <laughs> or he and is the infidelity part the the reason why it's pg-13 i'm not sure why frankly it's pg-13 i okay. mean my son's 12 and and i'd have i'd allow him to see it but uh -huh. the the bigford tends to be a little conservative when it okay. when it talks about their productions right <clears throat> and and you've done a lot of stuff at the bigford in the yeah. past i uh my uh my career there i guess <laughs> started back in 2001 and okay. since then wow. i have either acted in or directed something every sing every season sometimes two things uh -huh. but this is the second chance i've had to direct there and it's it's a great deal of fun okay and how do you like directing i love it yeah i love it it's it, it's different from acting. It's a totally different sensation. Opening night is a is a different beast, mm -hmm. but it's uh, it's just as satisfying. Right, and it's it's always funny. You always hear actors saying, "I wanted to direct." Why is that? Is that is that because they've always been out of control and they want well, that? Well, I don't sort know if of, it's, uh, I mean, with me certainly, it isn't about control. With me, it's always been. I, I've gotten to work with some tremendous directors and I feel like I've learned a lot from them and I wanted to give it a try. And so it sort of started happening after I graduated from the conservatory a long time ago. <laughs> um, okay. And, and it, it's a different set of um, satisfactions mm -hmm. and it's a different set of muscles. It's a different creative process, but it's, for me, no better or worse okay. than getting to be on stage. Okay. Yeah, it's just funny you always hear that um, from actors that you seem to want to direct. And and who else is in the is in the play? Uh, we have a guy named Jonathan Holtzman. He mm -hmm. uh, is one terrific. They're all terrific actors. I could not be happier with the cast. Mm -hmm. I got very very lucky. Um, Jonathan Holtzman, Elizabeth Simmons, Pete Kendall, and Maplewood's own uh, Langley Brandon, who is a UK import who okay. now lives in Maplewood and does a killer American accent. <laughs> That sounds cool. You, 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 and, and, and you told me before that yeah. you didn't realize... I didn't know she was from the UK <laughs> when she yeah. was auditioning. It was mm -hmm. just, you know, it was another actress and she... Not another actress, she was ter terrific. Yeah. But it wasn't until after the audition that we just got to chatting that I realized that she was not American. And right. it was... Right. I was quite impressed. <laughs> that's, that's cool. And uh, so, so this is at the Bigford, mm -hmm. and and you got a review. Yeah, the first today? one came out this morning, I guess, uh, from theexaminer.com, and they uh -huh. said it was a must see. So okay. we gotta like that. You got a Very must see there. Happy and proud of the cast. And it's uh, it's running the next two, next weekends. two weekends. Yep, Thursday um, through Sunday. Depending on when I edit this, hopefully yep. it'll be still the next yep. two weekends, yep. uh, through February seventeenth. Correct. And you can order tickets on the website. Yep, or you can call them, and maybe somewhere on the scroll or something, you can put up the number. <laughs> yeah, we'll, um, we'll put it back there. Cool. And if you mention the word "post," which is the author's last name, they will give you a ten. I think it's ten dollar discount off the uh, basic ticket price. So, however you get your tickets, whether it be on the phone or online, use that little code word for a few bucks off. Right. And this uh, post, have you? Do you know any other plays that? I don't actually. I know this. He's um, this started as a television piece, mm -hmm. an hour-long television piece that was adapted for the stage, so that presents its own sets of challenges. But I, I'm not familiar with my, with his other stuff. Okay. 
All right. Well, that that covers that segment <laughs> okay. for the moment. I just want to uh, talk about the SAG Awards because I know you're one of the people who On are the nominating, nominating committee, committee yep. and yep. and SAG is a Screen Actors Guild. And what does it take? Can I be a SAG member? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> sure. I have a show. I mean, you, you, know? you can be. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's, it's a lot of hard work and a lot of money up uh -huh, front. But, uh -huh. um, yeah. but the, the nominating committee is drawn from uh, paid up members in good standing. I see. And uh, they, they pool, I'm not, I don't know actually how many of us there were, mm -hmm. but they pool a bunch for the film nominations and a separate group for the television nominations and I was lucky this year to get into the film group. Right. So every day our poor mailman would be you know, <laughs> handing me a stack of screeners. It was yeah. actually a lot of fun. I got yeah. to watch a lot of movies. Wow. And so so how do you think, uh, how, how did your nominations do? I think I did pretty well. I'd say <laughs> I was over 50%. Okay. I, I'd, I'd have to go in the 65 to 70%. I was uh -huh. pretty close. Okay. Um, I, oh, I made some... Good. I made some from the heart choices as I opposed see. to from the, uh -huh. I don't know what the opposite of that is, the right. intellectual choice <laughs> or the, uh, the obvious choice. Right, right. And, and now that, that you've seen, uh, so we've had, what, People's Choice, we've had <laughs> Golden Globes, yeah. we've had, you know, screen actors, and, yeah. and now we have the Oscars. Do you think it's going to fall in the same line? I don't know. It, relatively? I think so, because as a, as a rule, cream rises to the top, and so the, mm -hmm. the best stuff is, is recognizable. The best, um, the best acting certainly is clear, although I, I will have to say I was a little surprised that the, nobody from the nominating committee of the Screen Actors Guild put Joaquin Phoenix up for uh, mm -hmm. Best Actor Award because his work in The Master is tremendous. He's up for the Oscar. Yeah. Um, but I was sort of surprised to see that missing from the SAG Awards. But that's, but that's what it is because the right. SAG Awards are, are voted on by actors and mm -hmm. the Oscars are voted on by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, which is, involves a whole you know, corral of different kinds right. of people. Right. So, and 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 the Oscars, of course, we do have an editing category, you which know, I think uh, I, I'm pretty sure I know who I want to win. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Tim Squire's A Life of Pi. Yeah. Thirty Put the money right down there. Thirty voted it, right? Is it is it are the ballots in yet? I think it's that? done. I think the voting okay. is done. It's just a question now of of the event. Right. Right. And. Who can't wait for that, right? <laughs> it's the Super Bowl of award shows, right? Exactly. And, uh, yeah, so w was there any uh, gems that, like, you saw that weren't even, like, there's a, uh, I'm trying to think of. Uh, there's for me, for know. me, there were a couple of films that I uh, really, really, that really grabbed me. Um, mm -hmm. Moonrise Kingdom, which actually mm -hmm. stars um, a teenager from South Orange yep. in, in one of the lead roles, was just a. Tr I love Wes Anderson, and yeah. and this is a terrific movie. And I was, you know, it's one of my was one of my personal favorites, and I think I sentimentally voted that way too mm -hmm. when I put in my nominations. I also loved Perks of Being a Wallflower. I thought that was uh, mm -hmm. another tremendous, uh, possibly because it reminded me so much of when I grew up. It's that very much that sort of time frame. Yeah. But the performances were terrific, and the movie was wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Promised Land was another one, which okay. uh, was sort of a sleeper that I didn't expect because I didn't expect a film that was deliberately written from a political point of view about a political issue mm -hmm. to be dramatically compelling as it is. And it's it's a it's a great hmm. it's a great film. Okay. And Lincoln or Argo? Pretty much. That's going to be it. Yeah. Flip the coin. <laughs> yeah. I think it's yeah. going to come down to that. Yeah. Okay. Although, right. you know, the best director could go to neither one of those gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. Although mm. the people I've, the, the people that I tend to chat with are leaning toward Argo as best picture, but not, or I'm sorry, as Ben Affleck for best director, uh -huh. but are not Argo for best picture. Okay. They don't, for some reason, feel he is ready for that award yet. Are they thinking Lincoln? Yeah. 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 Okay. There it is. No need but, to watch it. I got, watch it I got nothing. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I think that wraps up the uh, awards for the year yeah. and the movie talk and all that. And uh, so, again, Murder in Green Meadows, mm -hmm. planned in Marstown through February 17th. 
Go out, see it, call that number, use the word post, you're in. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, thanks for uh, making the trek oh, over no here. No problem, my and, pleasure. Uh, thanks for having me. Welcome back, and we'll, I'll have another show coming up soon. And Jared Gilman from uh, Moonrise Kingdom may be here. Uh, oh, that'd be great. One of these days. Great. So keep your eyes open. Cool. Thanks again. Thanks for having me. All right. Hey, it's Jamie. Come on in and take a seat for a while with me. Yeah, Jamie, we could just pump the time to take for a while. You know it doesn't really matter for your life for a while, cause you can try to find an end to decide. Every little thing is gonna pump over. Stay a while, stay a while with Jamie. Jane.